When I first came to Audubon, I traveled all over America to see how we were making a difference for birds and people. I met lots of people doing terrific work in the East, in the Gulf, in the Midwest, in California and Alaska. I met scientists, conservation professionals, volunteers, chapter members, all of Audubon's boots on the ground. And while I met a lot of great people, I also saw a lot of birds. I'm David Yarnold, president of the National Audubon Society. We're a 107-year-old organization dedicated to celebrating and protecting birds and the ecosystems that support them. Audubon and our mission are like birds, constantly adapting to the challenges around us. But let me start with the most interesting part, and that's the birds themselves. Birds are the one form of wildlife that nearly everyone encounters every day, so we sometimes take them for granted. But birds have been a constant throughout human history because we know deep down, instinctively, that where we see and hear birds, people are likely to thrive as well. Humans have a fascination with birds that goes back thousands of years across nearly every culture. And people are still fascinated with birds. 50 million Americans call themselves birders, and bird watching is the second most popular hobby in the United States behind only gardening. Birds are one of the best indicators of environmental health. You can tell the health of any natural place by the birds that are there. These are all important things to remember, but the thing that really moves people is how amazing birds are. I'm talking about the hummingbird that weighs less than a book of matches, but can fly across the Gulf of Mexico without stopping. Or the young Laysan albatross that leaves its nest for the first time and flies out over the ocean not to return to land again for five years. Or the bald eagle, which has remained our country's most enduring symbol. One of the most incredible things about birds is their migration. This great movement of birds from as far north as Alaska to Central and South America. It's an incredible cycle driven by natural forces that humble us as humans. When you look at migration across North America, you find that the birds generally adhere to one of four paths. Now, not every bird migrates, and not every bird follows these paths, but it's useful for us to look at things this way. We call these paths flyways. They're sort of like superhighways in the sky for birds. At Audubon, we use these flyways to guide our work. Underneath these flyways are critical migratory rest stops and homes for non-migratory birds. These places form a web representing the richest veins of biodiversity across the Americas. And some of these places that we call important bird areas are tipping points, the most important places where Audubon makes a difference for birds. The South Fork of the Kern is one of the finest river forests in the southwestern United States. This area right here used to be an open pasture, but now allowing nature to take its course, this forest has grown up. This forest has got birds in it right now that have come from Central America, South America, Mexico on their migration northward on the Pacific Flyway. And on their migration northward, they battle through all kinds of adversity to come here to breed and raise their families. Some of the birds continue further northward on their way up to British Columbia, Alaska. Bayona Wetlands is a critical part of the Pacific Flyway. It's the last remaining coastal wetland of this size in Los Angeles County. So as birds are migrating between their breeding grounds and their wintering grounds, this is really a critical place to stop in the flyway for feeding and resting. We also have a lot of breeding species here because of these recreated freshwater marshes that provide habitat for herons, songbirds, grebes, other species of waterfowl. Protecting these important bird areas takes a multi-level approach for which Audubon is uniquely equipped. We work from backyards to legislatures across the hemisphere to protect birds and their habitats. We have a strong national organization as well as a thriving regional and state presence. And in local communities we have this amazing network of 465 chapters that are really the lifeblood of the organization. Audubon makes a difference through direct conservation as well as political advocacy and all of our work is based on sound science. Our network of nature centers is carrying our message about birds and nature to a million people every year, children and families all over America. Audubon is a conservation network 
with an unparalleled wingspan. 